a question 12. In this question, Kristen Wilmot Hydro has two options for upgrading hydroelectric power stations to meet new government standards. Okay, let's look at the options one at a time. Option number one. Kitchen Wilmot Hydro will make the upgrades themselves. This is expected to cost 10200 at the end of every six months. So that means that TY will be two, and the cost is $10,200. So that will go into the payment, because that is indeed a payment, right? It's every six months for 14 years. Now that will come in when we try to calculate N. So N would be 14 times two, which should give us 28, but we'll get the calculator to confirm that. Okay, at the end of the operation in 14 years, Kitchen Wilmot Hydro expects to sell all the equipment needed for the upgrade for $100,000. So that will be, this is the sale of the equipment for $100,000. That is yet in the future, 14 years from now. So <clears throat> that will also be, you will have for N, and this side will be 14 times two, which will also be 28. By the way, because the, this will be, let's see, now, the compounding is 3.42% compounded semi-annually. So therefore, over here, because this is more of a compound interest kind of a question, TY will be 2 and TY will also be 2. But then it doesn't really matter because they're both 2 anyway, whether they're, they're payments or not. All right, so that is that part. And the interest is 3.42. So let's put it in here. And for these kinds of questions, the comparison is made on the present value. So that is what will be needed to be computed, all right? So we can start over here, your payment. So future value will put in at zero. Over here, the sale of the equipment, this payment will be zero. All right, so let's get the calculator up and running and let's see how we do. Okay, so PY is two. We enter that and likewise PY is two. And we get out of that mode and it's for 14 years, which was seen before in case you missed it. This is option number one. And there you are, 14 years. So we go 14, second, N, N. And indeed, 28 is correct. So let's wipe this out here. And we can do likewise over here. All right. So now we proceed to enter the IY value of 3.42, 3.42. There we are. This present value we're computing the payment in the in this the payment the cost column we will put the ten thousand two hundred dollars now that is being paid out so we will input it as negative zero for the future value and we compute the present value and that turns out to be two hundred twenty-five thousand four hundred fifty dollars and thirty seven cents if you round this to two decimal places. Okay, so that computation is finished. Next one is over here. Now, as you can see, these numbers, the numbers are the same until we get to the payment because we are computing the present value. So the payment is, we will have to put in zero and the future value is 100,000 because that will be the residual value of the equipment. Equipment is assumed to sell all the equipment needed for the upgrade for $100,000.
And now we go and we compute the present value. And that turns out to be 62,203.91. We're rounding again to two decimal places. Okay, so we have those numbers. Now, what is the net present value for option one? Well, how do we do that? Well, the net present value is what? NPV is equal to the, the present value for the money coming in minus the present value of the money going out. All right, so how much is coming in? Well, this is the amount that's coming in because the equipment will be sold and that money will be recovered. So the PV in is equal to $62,203.91. All right, and the PV out is equal to what? Well, it's equal to this $225,450.37. So 225. 450.37. Okay, so there we are. So those are the two numbers. Now we can get to the net present value. So the net present value would be equal to the N62203.91 minus 225450.37. Now we get the calculator, we can do that subtraction. So this is already the present value. Let's make it positive. And then we subtract two, two, five, four, five, zero, point three, seven. And we get an answer of one, six, three, two, four, six, point four, six. So that will be the answer that should go in here for option one, All right? And it does say if NPV, net present value, is negative, enter it as, neg as a negative number. If the net present value is zero, enter zero. Okay, now we also have to round to the nearest whole number. So it'll so be minus one, six, three, two, four, six because it's 0 0.4607. All right, now we can also enter that number here just to keep record of it. And it will be negative 1.63246. And maybe we should just leave it at that, round it to the nearest dollar, or we could put in an extra step and say that the NPV is equal to negative 163246. All right, and this will be the answer for option one. <clears throat> All right, so there we are, and we have the answer for option one. Okay, so that is finished. Now let's go to option two. What does option two say? Well, we pay experienced contractors. It will cost four, $44,000 upfront and $10,200 semi-annually for 12 years. Okay, so $10,200 semi-annually means the payments are made twice per year. And we know the compounding from before was semi-annually. And if the payment is $10,200, correct? And the future value, we will have zero. The interest rate is a 3.42. Have it right up there. Compound it semi-annually. So this there would be 3.42. But in this case, it's $10,200 semi-annually for only 12 years, not 14 years. So the end value will be what? Well, it'll be 12 times two, and that would give us 24, or should give us 24. 
then the present value is what needs to be computed so we can do that all right so let us begin we just need the calculator and we can get started so cy and cy are still two the value for n remember it's 12 here so 12 second n n and indeed 24 is correct all right, so the value for IY, so we can just recall IY and we see 3.42. Now the payment, we will put that in 10,200, put it in as negative because we're paying it out, zero for the future value, and then we compute the present value and we get a number looking like 199412.74. Okay, so that is being paid out. Now, what is the net present value for option two? Well, the net present value, we will have to not only take this number, but remember there was an upfront cost of 44,000. So that has to be included. So we can go here and add 40, four thousand dollars and that should give us the correct number for the present value for option two so option two but remember all this money is going out so that is why we have to put a negative number well i will do the process properly in one in shortly let me just show you how the whole process works if we do it properly all right, good. So that was option number one, and we can save ourselves, if we wish, some of this typing here. If we just copy that, and then we say, well, we have uh, option number two, so let's go. Option number two, all right, and there we go, if we paste it in here. Okay, the the in is zero. There is nothing coming in. It's all going out. All right. So let's do that. Oops, sorry. Let's back space there and then we should be better. All right. So <laughs> we're having some little bit of movement. That's not what we wish to have. All right. So the PV out is what? Well, it's this number right here, 243. So let's put it in here. 243412.74. So now in here, if we just copy this number and then we come down here, what we will have is what? A zero is coming in and it's all going out. So that will be the number right there. And this here would get wiped out and replaced by that number there. Now, there was a bit of a problem that came up here. Okay, let's delete that. And so this is the net present value for option number two. Okay, so that is the number, but let's round it to the nearest whole number and we will put in that present value is negative two, four, three, four, one, three, because we're rounding to the nearest whole number. Okay, so this is for option number number two. All right, so we go and we can highlight the option number two. So there we are. Now, this is the amount that's going out because it's negative. So this one is 243413. This one here is 163246. So because they're both negative, you're looking for the smaller negative number, meaning the smaller negative payout. So therefore, the option which Kitchen Wilmot Hydro should choose should be option number one. Let's submit and see if our numbers are correct. And they are correct. 
Okay, so there we are. This is the larger negative number. So it means that money is going out. Okay, so you want the smaller amount going out. So that's the reason why num option number one was chosen. 